children proclaim to every land, go so not to our King. Raise your voices, be not afraid, proclaim it in every land. Christ has died, but He has risen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to make ourselves worthy to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Enable us, we pray, Almighty God, to proclaim the power of the recent Lord, that we who have received the pledge of His gift may come to possess all He gives when it is fully revealed through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was on one, one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them for those who own property or houses will sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to the need. Thus Joseph, also named by the apostles Barnabas, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite, a Cypriot by birth, sold a piece of property that he owned, then brought the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is king in splendor robe. Robe is the Lord and girt about his strength. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. And he was made the world firm not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old, from everlasting you are, O Lord. The Lord is King, He is rock in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The Lord is King, He is rock in majesty. Son of man must be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, You must be born from above. 
The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can this happen? Jesus answered and said to him, You are the teacher of Israel, and you do not understand this? Amen, amen, I say to you, we speak of what we know and we testify to what we have seen, but you people do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in Him may have eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. In biblical times, people were big believers of signs, which they considered convincing evidence. In Genesis, for example, after the great flood ends, only Noah's family remains, and God comes to Noah and promises a new covenant between himself and all of Noah's descendants. God says that never again will the whole earth be destroyed by a flood? And what will be the evidence of this covenant and promise? It will be the rainbow. And by the time we get to the New Testament, however, people wanted more, especially when it came to the claims of Jesus. In our Gospel reading, Nicodemus came to Jesus at night and said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one could perform the signs you are doing if God were not with him. Nicodemus came to Jesus to confirm everything that he had saw and heard. And Jesus answered Nicodemus at the end of the conversation, if you want to understand the meaning of what I do, be born again. The conversation ended with Jesus saying, Whoever lives by the truth comes into the light, so that it may be seen plainly that what they have done has been done in the sight of God. After this, we will never hear anything about Nicodemus. John did not describe how the meeting ended. But in chapter 19 of the same gospel, John recorded that Nicodemus was there after the crucifixion together with John of Joseph of Arimathea to bury Jesus. None of the disciples were present at the crucifixion except John and you have there Nicodemus and Joseph of Arimathea. John recorded that Nicodemus brought 75 pounds of myrrh and aloes to anoint the body of Jesus. The amount required to have or to make a royal funeral. Nicodemus went to Jesus at night time and proclaimed Jesus as his King and Lord at daylight. This scenario narrated by John revealed to us that Nicodemus eventually understood how it is to be born again. To be born again refers, after all, to a change of heart from indifference to love of him 
so that God could bring the best in us. In the first reading, we heard that the community of believers became one heart and one mind. They have brought their properties together and none of them became poor. Actions of love that confused the Gentiles and considered by the learned as mere follies. My dear friends, we believe in the resurrection, not because we have seen it. And like Thomas, we were given the privilege to put our finger on the side of Jesus. We believe in the resurrection because we have seen the God of resurrection work. We have seen the risen Christ raise people from the death of despair to the joy of new life. For us, resurrection is the rebirth of possibilities, the hope arising out of desperation, the new life after a crossing blow. People believe in the resurrection because they have seen it working in us. I have encountered a beautiful and short but popular poem written by someone with the title, The Gospel According to You. And a portion of the poem says, Friends of Christ in the world today are many who watch you upon your way and look to the things you say and do to measure the Christian standard true. Men read and admire the gospel of Christ with its love unfailing and true, but what do they say and what do they think? of the gospel according to you. You are writing each day a letter to man. Take care that the writing is true. This is the only gospel that someone will read, that gospel according to you. Many will not be able to read the gospels of Mark, Luke, Matthew, and John. But every day, people see us the way we do, the way we act, the way we think, the way we love, they will immediately see whether the resurrection is a hoax or it is true. We all stand. Let us pray to God the Father, who by His Spirit has raised up Christ, and who will also give life to our mortal bodies. For every petition, let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those invested with authority may be inspired by the Spirit to exercise their leadership in the spirit of love and service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may renew ourselves constantly in the spirit and grow in love to the perfect maturity of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For us celebrating this Eucharist, that we may help one another with the love which reflects the Trinity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be given medical attention through the generosity of family and friends, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world peace and for the peaceful resolution of the Russia and Ukraine conflict, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the end of the pandemic, may the Lord grant us the healing we need and the grace to recover from its effects. May the Lord continue to heal those who are infected, protect those who are in the front lines, and grant eternal rest to those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a peaceful and godly national elections, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Dominican brothers and ministry at St. Thomas Aquinas in UST and St. Raymond of Peñafort in Legaspi, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead, especially Sister Guadalupe Ramos Opie, 
and Father Anthony Hoff's T.O.P., whose anniversary we remember today, may they rejoice in Christ's glorious resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of this Mass and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, pour out your Spirit in our hearts that our life may be made new with the life given to us by Jesus' resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bless you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is a ransom from death, and his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs> Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Ernesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed which in Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, our beloved spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My dear friends, this is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of us all. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. All stand. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us, 
may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessings of the Almighty God be with you always, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.